Hi everyone! Welcome to the first Sir Keith Hunt Hall's YouTube video. Today I'm going to be giving you a little tour of our home away from home. So on entry we have key cards that unlock the front door. As you enter to the right we have a little hand sanitizer dispenser. Okay so here we have the common area and the kitchen. This right here is the janitor's closet. It would have a mop, a broom, a little sink, and a dustpan. This is what it looks like. This is where we typically spend time together as a hall. There are eight of us sharing a kitchen, so it would be four to each stove and four to each fridge. We also have a microwave, a toaster oven, two sinks and we divide up the cupboard space equally. It's quite spacious. So outside of each kitchen area has a small balcony where people just come out and relax. The sunrise is very pretty from here. And you can look down and see another area where we spend a lot of time. All right, so now we're gonna move into the bathrooms that we have here at the Sir Keith Hunt Hall. They broken out into two separate rooms, the first one being the shower room, where of course you have the shower, the water actually gets pretty hot, which is nice. And then we just have a seat here where you can place your toiletries while you're in the shower. Then of course, this is the room where we just have a toilet and a sink and of course a mirror. Something I really like about the fact that they are separate is that more people are able to use the bathroom facilities at once. Another thing I really like about our bathrooms on this hall is that you only really have to share the bathroom with three other people who live on your side. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what the rooms look like here at the Sir Keith Hunt Hall. So once you get here, you'll be provided with a key card which allows you to enter the building as well as your own room. So once you enter, this is the first thing that you'll see. It's just your closet, which provides a lot of storage space. And on top of the closet is more space, so I just hold my suitcase and my box for my AC up here. Okay, so moving over to the desk area. We have a very big desk, as you can see, which is very useful because I can spread out my stuff as necessary. Then there are plugs where I plug in my laptop and my phone while I'm working, and of course my AC which I'll get into in a few minutes. On top of the desk, we have a light and some more storage space where I just have a few of my books, some paper, some mugs, and then more toiletries up here. This is my bed, and what I did is I purchased some stoppers to elevate the bed and allow me to place storage bins underneath, and it has been highly useful for me, so I would recommend anyone thinking about coming to the halls of residence to do the same. So as I mentioned before, we're actually allowed to get an AC installed at the Sir Keith Hunt Hall. So it actually is very useful because it gets very hot in Barbados. So although we provided with a fan, a ceiling fan, it's still very useful. So I rely heavily on this. So here we have the sink and the mirror, which I was very pleasantly surprised to see because it's convenient to be able to wash your face or brush your teeth in your room without having to leave. Then underneath the sink, there's even more storage space. Here, I just have some cleaning supplies and shopping bags. And here, I just put a hook on my door to hang my towel. The lights are actually motion sensor. And there are more plugs right here by the sink. This is our elevator. Right now, I'm going to take you to the basement where we have our washers and dryers. Okay guys, so here we have the washers, dryers, and sinks which operate on a token system. If you don't want to use the washer, we have lines outside where you can hang your clothes. Okay, so right across from the hall, we have Esso which is a gas station and it has a little convenience store. Sometimes we run across to get some snacks, some food and groceries. To get to the beach, we continue down the path past Esso and walk till you get to this intersection where we would turn left and take a little shortcut on the side. So we walk through here, 